and today I'll be showing you how to make a game called pizza. In this game, you'll be able to cook your own pizza. So, let's get started. So, you see you have a view controller at the start in the main.storyboard file. You see you have this. Now, make sure that its orientation is sideways, like that. Because that's how the game will be played. Now, get um, get a new button. Put it right in the center, like that. Now make sure the size is 250-250. Because um, this will be the size of the pizza. So, so you take the button drag it in the center like that now make sure it does not say button like just just remove it and then for the image choose a circle dot fill like that but if it's yeah I know that's too small so the same thing happens to you go back to the button Make sure the background image is the circle dot fill. So there it is. That. So now you gotta make the size 250 again. Now that's that looks good for a pizza dough. So that's gonna be the pizza dough. So you go here and now give it a tint of like a pizza dough so go down here um, cyst um, yellow color is gonna be the pizza but if uh, the pizza is too small you could always go to the you could always go to this tab and change the size so I think that's a good size so put it in the center and now it's time to um, actually make the pizza so you gotta add one more button put it like this make sure it is 280 by 280 there's the button you put it in the center now also make the background image a circle that is filled Make sure it's spell it right. And then if I'm a circle and this. Now if uh, if you if it looks like a little too big, then make it a six and a six like that. So you, so you, then you could take the second button and you could drag it actually in the center. And that looks like a pizza, but you've got to take the the tint and make it system red color like that. So it's an actual pizza. Now, uh, this is going to be the basic thing. So now, you've got to add a button right here, the, like that. Make sure the button says um, cook. Make sure it is selected. Make sure the tint is um, teal. Cook. So if you click this button, you can cook the pizza. Okay, so then you take a button, you put it in. Uh, wait. You take the button, you put it in this corner, but now. Make sure the size of it is a 50 50. So 50 and 50. So, like that. Now, make sure the title is sauce. If, you, if I spell that right. Okay, sauce. Now, make sure it's selected and make sure the tint is red. Now, if, if that looks a little too like 
small, then if you want like an actual square, you can do this, like square.fill, but make sure it's not selected anywhere or else look, it'll look really strange, so like that. And if you do this, make the tint default, default. So if it doesn't show anything, if that if it just doesn't show anything, just make it selected and make it red again. Doesn't doesn't matter. Okay, let's we'll just do this and move on. So, okay, sauce. So if you click the sauce, it's gonna add the sauce. So now let's actually code this. But before we code. Got to add something else. Add a button. Put it in the middle. Stretch it out. Make sure it goes to this edge. To this edge. To this edge. To this edge. There should be an edge somewhere. Good. Now stretch it out. Till until it's the top, and then also stretch this one out till it's the till it's the top. So like that. Now make the background a square. Where dot fill. Now if you go to this button, make sure. Now, now if it just appears like that, then you don't you don't really need this button. Like if it's it's optional. So if that happens to you, go to the view. Make sure the background color is brown or something like orange. But I would say yellow. No, not yellow. Okay, just choose a custom color and make sure it's kind of like yellowish, but uh, like that. Just make sure it looks like that. That is also fine, so just choose that and let's move on. Now, to the code. So here, you like like... Um, Add an IBO outlet called Doe. Make sure it's a button and then copy this and call it Sauce. Okay, button. Now, oh my goodness, make sure you spell it right. And now, when you have this, make two IBA actions function and then call it whatever you want, but I would call it um, sauce. Click sender um, UI button like that, and then don't do anything here and you could just copy this and same thing for dough click so so now you go back here um, I forgot to do this but you can command C command V or control C or con then control V to copy another button and put it like uh, like this but make sure instead of that saying sauce it says dough and make sure the color of that button is yellow because it looks like a box of dough. So system yellow color. Like that. Dough sauce. Now, since we're here, let's connect. So control click that, that little circle over there. Now, click dough. Make sure um, it's the first button. Dough is the first button we ever made. So that will be the button. Sauce is the next button we made. Dough click is this. If it asks you this, primary action triggered, for this, primary action triggered. 
Okay, so then go back to the view controller. Now when you do when you click on so when you start the game, you don't want the dough to be seen. So dough dot is hidden equals true. That means he is hidden. So same thing for the sauce. It's hidden equals true. But if you click on the sauce, you do sauce dot is hidden equals false. And the same thing for this sauce dot is is hidden. Oh, I just make sure you spell it right. Sauce dot is hidden equals false. So that means he's not gonna be hidden. Now when you click cook, you should go to a new a new screen where there's gonna be like an oven. So so you find the view controller, you put it like this. I take the cook button, stretch it out here, present modely. Now make sure that um its color well just go back to the view, make sure the color is um the the custom color that you made is gonna be in the recently used colors like that. Now then you need a back button so or you could just take this button, con command C, command V, or control C, control V. You take it like this, you put it in the corner or here. If just just check the Y on here, so Y three twenty seven twenty seven. Okay, that's good. Now instead of saying cook, make it say back. And now everything is connected and it is ready to go. So click the run button and test your. F if this happens. Just go to orientation and escape left. Just click click it again. Yeah. So nothing is there. Dough. It's the wrong thing. Sauce. Now this is still happening, so this works. This Okay, so we got lots of stuff to do. So the dough. Oh, it's say like dough because it's for sauce. Now, make the pictures nothing. And then say fake for this, no picture. Now, oh, it just, um, if you do this, just always remember to recheck your code and also the back button. Make sure it just uh, present modely again. Okay, like that. Or, if you don't want to do present modely, then wait for the next episode to do an even better way of going back. So, now it says build succeeded, it worked. If it says failed, it didn't work. So, go to the simulator again. And if it, does, it, ha if it happens like that, go to hardware. And it, like shake a little. Okay, now it's good. So you click on the dough, you get some dough. Click on the sauce, you get some sauce. If you click on cook, uh, there's nothing. And back doesn't work, but I'll do that in the next episode. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.